how you all doing? In this video we're going back to the chainsaw. Uh, the last video I did get quite a few good comments on this. Good comments, helpful comments. So in the last video I did say I would be stripping this down and uh, giving it a good clean up and checking it all out but since the comments on the other videos there's a few things I want to check first. As people were mentioning air pin holes in the pipes and uh, air holes in the little uh, bulb, what's it called, priming bulb rubber thing. So let's get the top back off and uh, check the pipes first. Like there's two feed pipes, well not two feed pipes, two pipes, is, I think that must be the feed pipe and then just underneath I'll show you in a bit, there's another pipe coming off this primer bulb uh, but I can't see any uh, perishing or pinholes in this pipe, looks quite good actually and uh, if we look down, down there you can just see the other pipe that looks quite good as well dirty but I can't really see it properly so what I'm thinking is I'll remove the carburetor and uh, I'm not sure if I can see that pipe or not but anyway let's just remove the carburetor all it is is three bolts is there one here here and here I just wind them all the way out obviously shut up Johnny that's that for that side. Go to this side. I think that's that for that side. Let me go to the one on the top. Like so. Then hopefully carburetor all left out. Nope, doesn't want to. Let's try pulling the bolts out. Oh, that's better. Oh, oh so it looks like we have to take that part off first. And the carburetor all just drop off. Let's see if we can uh, touch it, detach it from the uh, trigger. Here we go. Yes, yeah, so as far as I can see that pipe looks okay. Still can't really see the priming pipe. Uh, Get a positive drive and take this top off to see what's going on inside there. Oh shit. Well, that came out at force, didn't it? It's a good job I've got a lock burner in the background, isn't it? gasket or what? That's what that looks like. Floppy whoppy. Get it off the pipe. Here we go. Yes, a weird looking thing. This looks like a square, I was going to say Rubik's Cube, but it's not got any colours on it. 
If you keep hearing snap, crackle and pop, it's just the log burner in the background, don't worry about it. Petrol is all the way over here, so hopefully we don't blow up. I can see the piston. Oh yes, we can see the piston, and it looks pretty good. Hold on, let me put my supersonic glasses on. Don't know if you could see in. Don't know if you could see down there. I'm not sure. Can't really get the camera any closer. Let's take it off the tripod. Good. It's a bit brown at the top. Hopefully you can see down there, I don't know. Let me try and get this closer. You should be able to see down there. The piston's got no scoring on it or anything, so that's all good. Obviously no uh, holes in the pipe. Press the primer, see what happens. Nothing. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's coming out. <laughs> cool, so it is priming. The fuel doesn't smell that old really, so I don't know. So what I think I'm going to do is Drain all this old fuel off and put some new fresh in there. But definitely not E10, though. No. Because we all know what happens if you put E10 in your petrol engines. Just what the government wants it to do. So let's get this fuel draining off somehow. Okay, so I've just got a jug. Let's just empty this tank out. Just pull that out. Empty it into there. <laughs> How hard can it be? There is a yeah, we did get a lot out there. Did look pretty dirty there. Bits in it. Cool. Petrol roll over everything. Anybody got a batch? Yeah, but I've got a log burner behind me. There is a filter in there. <clears throat> but if you watched the last video, you'll know I cleaned it on the last video. So, put some new fuel in it, I guess. Yes, one I made earlier. Just mix that up with two stroke oil. Uh, the only difference I've noticed is my two stroke oil is green and the two stroke oil in there was red, so hopefully that doesn't make any difference. Uh, I haven't got a clue of the mixture, but one guy did say it's 50 to 1. So what I did was Two pints of petrol in there and one pint of oil. So hopefully that's right. So just fill the baby up.
Oh, bit too much. Go ahead, you took that much. Yeah, let's whack that back in there. God, it's dangerous, Johnny. Let me clean this petrol over spill up and uh, I'll be back. <laughs> together we can work it out so it's got uh, two holes that side so yes definitely goes that way so if we put that on there put that on the top the screw back in So that's that. So anyway, let's get it back in that chainsaw. Okay, let's get the uh, jewel pot back on. Here we go. Put the trigger linkage back in. underneath. Okay, let's try and get these uh, screws back in. Tighten them up. Here we go. Should be one more screw for the top there. Tighten the spark plug up in it. Or two. That'll do for me, Tommy. So, need the choke up there. Need the HT wire through there. Fiddly with this choke. That's it. Get up there. Get the HD lead. That's it. Bloody fiddly thing. Fiddle it about, fiddle it about. Whack a screw in this side. Back a screw in the other side. That one at the back. Do the one at the front. Slot that down there. Put the filter back on. Slot that on there. And that's it. So let's go over there and see if we can bring it back to life. Okay then, ignition switch, three primes. Now I won't touch that. Put the choke out first. Go down there. Put your foot on there. when it kicks back put the choke in oh fuck off I keep 
dropping this bloody thing. It's going to get broken in. Sure, what this thing's for either. Seems to lock down like that. When you pull it back, it shoots back up. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, that's sort of kicking back. Back all oh, why is it kicking back? <laughs> it just keep kicking back. I did see a puff of smoke about at one point. Uh, so whip the spark plug out and it's wet through so Obviously there's petrol getting in there, but it's not igniting. Maybe I've just flooded it, I don't know. Let's clear it out a bit. So, go and dry this off and uh, put it back in. Try again. Right then, so I'll put the... Uh, Put them on the uh, gas hob, burnt all the petrol and oil out, and it's still warm at the sport block. So, leave the choke off, make sure the ignition's on. When it start now. See uh, the Americans on YouTube. Say if it's flooded, get an assistant and hold the throttle on, and then uh, start it up. But then the chain starts spinning. So if you dig it into the floor, yeah, I'm not going to try that. So I have to do a bit more research. And I think I've seen on the uh, Retro Restore channel, I've heard him say when they kick back like that, it could be the Woodruff key or something that snapped, so the timing's gone out. What's about that though? It's got a great spark, but it won't start. So yes, I think this video has gone on long enough. I guess I'll, uh, hopefully I'll get some uh, uh, hopefully I'll get some helpful comments in the tips. Helpful comments in the tips. Yeah, that's a new one, isn't it? Yeah, hopefully I'll get some helpful comments in the uh, comments. And I'll also go and look on Google to see what I can find out about the Oregon. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it has at least been of some use to you. Or at least just good entertainment. <laughs> So stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cool, why is it so smoky in here? I see you in another life, brother.